I'll say it like this. Hello, YouTube. Hello, we're here. We're going to play uh, Space Moth Lunar Edition tonight. It's going to be a, it's going to be a good time. So, if you're joining in, in the stream in the chat, hello. Also, um, let's let's get the game going. I need, I do actually need to have it before me. We're gonna put it in English. As you can hear, uh, there's some. I, I I actually I I I've seen a bit of this. Oh, this might, might be a little loud. Um, I've seen a bit of the the enemies. That looks better. Cool. That looks better. Deutsch bitte. Shall I learn my German while we do this? I've looked at how to play already, so we're gonna go, we're gonna dive dive straight in the game. Uh, it's from it's developed by One CC Games, published by Chorus Worldwide. Thank you to publishers, developers for uh, the the key to this game. Appreciate it. Um, released November 18th. And like I was saying, they've updated the visuals. Uh, I think some of the sound, and now it's out on like all the consoles. You can you can play this on on every console that that you might own. Xbox, yep. P PlayStation, I'm uh, pretty sure. Yeah. The Switch, oh yeah. You can play it. You can be, you can play this mobile, uh, PC. That's where I'm playing it all. It, it's out everybody, Ev everywhere. Excuse me, everywhere for everybody. Um, and yeah, what do they do? New enemies, attacks, and player powers in uh, this lunar edition that's just come out. So let's try it out. It's out for the thrill box. Thyro <laughs> oh, Razor! Thanks for the gift sub. Congrats! Congrats to Moat. You you caught her mid uh, mid mid on sub. Thank you so much, Razor. Appreciate it. E E Razor. Oh, what? I'm dead already. It, it wasn't supposed to go like this at all. All right, so you have a laser. I we need to stop dying. This is terrible. How how could I? Okay, okay, right. Let, let me let me talk to you. Sh sh no no no. I no, 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 this, it, it does, doesn't count, doesn't count. I'm promising you, earlier I gave it a quick try in practice mode. Knocked it out the park, I was doing great. What happened there? It's, I've got, I've got the, the jitters because I'm, I'm live. Is that what it is? I was telling, um, well, I don't know how I dodged that. So only the middle of the moth has, um, has a hitbox. So technically, ugh, technically, as long as you're not getting hit right in the middle of the moth, which is like the, the I don't know, is it a spaceship? I don't know. They went really funky with this one, uh, but it does work. We're fighting moths as well, and there's butterflies, and I don't know. I know there's a, oh, okay. I am, I'm perished. This is like one of these really fast paced games. But yeah, if you've ever played a uh, Gladius or Galaga, this is this is for you. In fact, I really like because the uh, Star Hunter DX, which is by the same uh, same developers, same de same developer and publisher. Oh, okay, wait, wait. I think okay, there we go. If you press Y, you have the special mode where like the bullets turn into. Um, Turn into skulls, and the skulls raise your combo meter. It's a whole thing, which I haven't quite figured out yet. Yeah, there you go. That worked. That worked temporarily. Oh, we've got a boss. I, I don't believe this. There's the... It's the space moth? No, this is a space butterfly. Oh, wait. These blue... These blue bullets are shooting out more bullets. I... Anyway... As I was saying, the, the vertical kind of asp I'm dead. The vertical kind of shmup is my personal favorite. Just got an achievement probably for dying a hundred times. <laughs> for uh, for using a, a one-up. Yeah, this is just like a classic arcade smup. Shmup. Shmup. I was gonna I, I was gonna say smup. Then I was gonna say schmuck, and I'm like, nah nah nah. That's that's rude, I think. I think. I'm just easy does it. Whoa. Hey Bob, how you doing? This is incredibly colorful. I really love the use of colors in this, I'll be honest. Soul drained enemies. 
See, not enough. The way that it works, I think, is that you you soul drain them with the regular like fast shooting gun. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. this is bad. Okay, Th this that's on me. I was drinking tea when I should have been uh, shooting things. But yeah, the, you can you first you soul drain them. Apparently, it makes them more aggressive, which means they attack more. If you if you hit them with this. And then, oh, there you go, it's working, it's working. And then the, the, oh, look at this huge beetle. Holy crap, look at this thing. Okay, there's, this, there's a cooldown. We'll, we're, you know what we're going to do? We're going to look back at the how to play bit so that you guys have an idea of what I'm talking about. But essentially... These beetles, look at these beetles, they're amazing. I'm, I'm very dead also, but. Oh, no, 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 oh, okay. It's a little rough, all right? Just, just bear with me, just bear with me. I can, oh. I've played Enter the Gungeon, I've played Binding of Isaac, I know how this goes. I know how this goes. But yeah, I- oh my god. Bomb. Bomb him. What's this B? I got a B. That might be an upgrade. That might be an upgrade. Can't be done. It can't be done. There's too many of them. Thank you. Give me the skulls. The skulls mean more, uh, mean more multiplier. Okay, and the circle there. Uh, it, it, it turns enemy bullets into skulls, so you do have a chance to, like, not freaking die. It's just a little bit of resource management. Okay, game over. <coughs> uh, I'm gonna put what I always put, which is my name, because I'm extremely boring when it comes to arcades. Start. Yo, high score! Hey. Here are your best scores. Best scores. Take that, JDE, Dan, Yal, B.C, Tom, Roop, Ota, Meg, and. Take that. Coco Boy, how you doing? How about a three letter score? What? Oh, I, I, I know, like, normally normally you only have three letters, right? In that, in that case, I would put my initials, I think. With, like, a, a, a middle name. Will is four letter. Yeah, then, then I've got my initials. Yeah, actually, I totally forgotten I used to do that, but there's probably my initials in like a bunch of arcades somewhere in in the world. <laughs> I like probably completely defunct arcade cabinets in the world have like my initials somewhere. Uh, let's try that again, but let me ch show you the how to play. How to play. So, you, you know, move in four directions, hit, shoot lasers, blah, blah, blah. Uh, rapid shot deals low damage, soul drains enemies. This makes them more aggressive, but it also increases the size of the skull circle. Uh, the skull circle is the thing that you can enable to, like, turn their bullets into skulls. And then whenever you touch a skull, uh, you get a com an extra combo multiplier, like a better combo multiplier. So, like, the, the system for this is a bit like Star Hunter DX. That had a little system like that as well. It's a bit more complex than just, like, you know, Rudy Tootie Point Shooty. This has, um... You know, you, you need to, like, manage when your skull mode is available. Use the laser to, you know, kill soul drain enemies with laser for bonus points. But it doesn't affect the size of the skull circle. The bomb does, I think? What actually, um... There, okay, the skull mode actually will shrink the circle, which makes sense. There must be some sort of cooldown. Size and value of skulls increases with the size of the skull circle. So basically, use the first regular weapon more, and then switch the laser to, to finish them off. Um, oh yeah, and then you get an extra bomb with a B, you get some one-ups, hidden items, and the laser's aura had like this little... I mean, you can see where they have the little blue square. That's actually something you get when you shoot the laser, and it does more damage. Let's try this different... Um, is this like... Is this actually the spaceship from... No, this is something else. Oh, okay. 
Okay, these things actually follow the the ship. It has a laser too. Oh, this feels way different. Okay, got got hit hard that one, but uh, yeah. Anyway, hope everybody's doing good and having a nice Sunday evening. Look at these butterflies, actually. I never really realized how they looked. It's funny to have these really, like, realistic look... Realistic, well, colorful. But realistic looking butterflies. Yo, Kem? Kem, welcome in. Let me pause this. Back to uh, the, the video game. There it is. Hey, Hoodie, good to see you. Let's shoot. Let's, let's shoot him. By the way, I, I don't know why, but we're fi we're fighting like really realistic, uh, but colorful versions of butterflies, and it's freaking me out a little bit. Also, I can't stop dying. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you too. Is it today? I, I have genuinely no idea. Is it always on a Sunday? I know, but I guess Black Friday was last Friday. Also. Video is gonna be dated on the on the channel now, but uh, who cares? Oh, the circle only appears where you are. I just realized the circle only appears where you are. So, this game is you shoot him with the little gun, you finish him off with the laser, and then oh, it was on a Thursday. I didn't realize it was like in that order. This is just a hell boss, and I hey, shoot a bomb. Why aren't you shooting bombs? There you go. Bombs actually get rid of all the the projectiles from the looks of it. And then now, okay, the circle stays where it is. Oh, okay. I didn't realize. Okay, use the laser. The secret is to look at yourself. Like, is to look at your, your spaceship and not look at the projectiles or the boss. Okay, laser. La la laser and... Um, Oh god! It's, oh, all right, one more. Wow. Okay. The uh, to be honest, by looking only at yourself, you really miss out on how cool the boss looks. Did you see that? That butterfly was amazing. Once upon a time, you really got to shoot 'em ups, because people are right. Like there is a, there are people who are incredible at shoot 'em ups, right? And like get to the end of uh, you know speed speed run uh, Galaga and all that. Not me though. This game induces stress. You like it? You know what? I should have worn the heart rate monitor for this. It's cool though. Like the, I love the colors and everything. I think there's a few screenshots where like it doesn't. Oh wow. Okay, I'm just I'm just dead. Bullet hell masters are real thing. Bunch of weirdos. It, it's just it's just chem from 10 years ago down at the arcade hall just will with three now now that has been brought to my attention look at that will with two l's still unbeaten we'll go back to the regular space moth much much better look at that cover the whole screen just by holding down the the shoot button Oh, I see. Okay, so when you soul drain them, they go more like neon. Right, and you hear a little sound cue, and then when you blow them up, uh, it, 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 it's better. You get more points when you blow them up after they've gone all neon because they're soul drained. Okay, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, it'll make, it'll make more sense once I explain that shooting them with the fast gun turns them kind of like... I don't know what the word is. Uh, yeah, neon, right? And then when you blow them up with a laser, you get more um, you get more points. At the end of the day, these games are about getting as many points as possible, right? So you can you can actually like optimize how you play this to get more po oh more points. And we definitely did get more points there. Look at that. Okay, okay, it's gone neon. Use this as well. That's a little bit of protection. Oh, for this, oh, for this one, the circle does follow you. It's just for the other one that it didn't. Man, I am, th this is like, 
blowing my retinas with how like colorful it is. Ooh. Look, I died, but still. I think we're doing better than before. This boss is gonna be a piece of cake. And by piece of cake, I mean it's gonna moid at me. Well, you gotta soul drain it first, right? And like the the little gun uh, charges the the size of the circle, and then then you hit him with one of those. Then all the skulls. Oh, am I still alive? Get, get, hit him with the skulls again. All right. Soul, soul drain him. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. You actually get a sound cue whenever the, uh... Whenever the, the circle's back. Whenever the skull circle's back? Soul circle? Okay, now, now he's soul drained. You can hit him with the laser. I, I, I'm just looking at myself. Just concentrate on what you can see. Just don't blow up. We only have... Did you see that? I've, I've just, uh... Look at that. Big skulls. I don't know why it says soul-drained enemies. I feel like I did way better than that. I thought I soul-drained all of them. This is definitely still a little opaque with the mechanics. Don't call it a suck circle. I'll call it what I want, all right? Even though I did read the, uh, there you go, some points. Even though I did read the manual. Um, look at this thing, though. Okay, <laughs> it looked at me a little too hard, but look at these these beetles. Is that a Hercules beetle? Is that what that is? Is that what a Hercules beetle is? Blow it up, bomb it. This is amazing. I really want to look at the enemy designs because they think they look they look beautiful. <laughs> but I can't if I want to survive. Only the good players get to see what, what, what the hell you're shooting at in this. Did I press no? On my best run? Did I press no accidentally on the best run of my life? I I swear the, the, the stick on the controller is slipped out of my hands. And that's why we're number two and not number one. Let me sit down for the rest of this. That was not according to Keikaku. Keikaku et al. 2021. I'm, I'm a little sad about that. I By the way, I know I didn't do the squats. I'll do them once we switch games. That's that's the plan, Malcolm. If you're wondering, I'm not I'm not ditching out on squats. <laughs> By the way, I think you can. Can you like select? Can you only go practice where you've been? That must be it. Man, uh, would love to get past stage two. This game is like insanely colorful, though. I must say. I've played a lot of video games, but, uh, you'd love to play this in an arcade cabinet? I bet you could, you know? Like, I mean, if you, first you need an arcade cabinet, but couldn't you get, like, a one of those fake ones? Hello, MVP. How you doing? Lead gamer. How you doing? Look, look at this, like, super colorful. Actually, speaking of, MVP, don't you have, like, didn't you have some sort of... Okay, this went terribly. Didn't you have some sort of arcade cabinet? Like a, like maybe a fake one? And then you could just like install this on a virtual machine or something. I don't know. I'm just using just using buzzwords right now. Alright. <laughs> Rage quitting. Rage quitting. We gotta restart it. I'm sorry, that one didn't count. I thought you did for some reason, like uh maybe like a little one. Lurking for a moment. Boss Collie wants to talk about you taking time off to mod a 48-hour marathon for some reason. 
Uh, it's okay. Tell him it's, uh, it, it's cancelled. Also, tell him it's for a good cause. Even though it's cancelled, if it was on, it'd be for a good cause. The best cause. Your wife says it takes too much space. Uh, she might have a point. What? Tell him what Will said, that he owns my time now? Will do. I mean, you're putting words in my mouth, but it's not like I wouldn't say them, so I guess it still works. It's me, the time wizard from Yu-Gi-Oh. I own time, and clearly, based on my performance in this game, I own space. Or, I guess space owns me. <laughs> yeah, big skulls, big skulls. Okay, alright. Oh, look at this. This is... Oh. We're doing it. We're doing it. These big enemies are insane. Uh, Kikaku? Kikaku? Why would I disable the skull circle? Okay, boss approaching. Thrill, this is for you. It's your boss. He's like... How dare you do a 48, 72-hour variety night stream? I want your gun and your badge on my desk by morning. Ugh. Give him the skull. Your boss, a massive dayglow butterfly. Explain dayglow, please. For, you know, uh, th those you don't know about it in, in chat. I'm seeing the health bar. Okay, oh, okay. And the health bar actually shows when he turns, uh, when he gets soul drained. It's about now. Because I'm a soul drain. Oh, we got him. I got an achievement unlock called Too Late. Don't know why. <laughs> Wait, Ray, it's good to see you. How you doing? Yeah, no, for, for like during this game, I can't really look at chat much. If I do, I have to acknowledge that I'm just gonna <laughs> like die. Oh, oh, does it take more space than the piano that she left in the attic since the 60s? Would you, would you use the arcade cabinet more than the piano? That's the real question. How about me? I'm doing good. I'm really enjoying uh, doing a little, a little space moth here, even though it's kicking my butt. But look at these enemies, though. I love how they all have, like, a... Like a neon version whenever they get soul drain. I hate how I uh, keep dying. Ooh. Okay, throw bombs. Throw bombs. Look at that. That That's not a boss? What, what do I do? What do I do? Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh. Use bombs. You got to use the bombs. There's another bomb. I see it. Okay, we got a new bomb. Same as the old bomb. We're still alive. Eat it. Throw the bomb. <laughs> Please! This is where these ones are flying now? Come on, I, I just learned what a day glow beetle is. We got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him.
This is this is rough. Have I shown everyone the light? We're not at that stage of the cult yet, Lee Sixteen. I'm sorry. I know we'd never played enough cult simulator for you to know, but no. What I mean is, yeah, here, here's the light. Woo. It's not doing it. There it is. Will it work? It's gonna be a channel point reward. Maybe I need to turn off the the big light for it to show. <laughs> Tried to install smart switches and bulbs. More of them? You just getting dumb ones instead? Stupid smart switch. <laughs> Stupid uninstallable smart switch. You have to turn on the light in the living room if you want light in the bathroom. Sounds real smart. <laughs> Shoot him. Soul suck him. I know it's drained, but honestly... <laughs> there goes my run. What, what, what's, a, what's a man gotta do? Get, get the skulls. Get the skulls. Alright, stop it. Maybe we can use it again sooner after if you stop it early. I, in fact, I'm not sure why you would stop it. I'm realizing now uh, stopping it might have been a mistake. Okay, then you use these guys to, you know, get the circle bigger again. You shoot this fella. You blow him up, and then you send the circle, the skull circle. Get the pretzel, the magic pretzel. <laughs> get, this, get the space pretzel. Okay, we can do this. We've done it before. Done it a million times. Super, super easy. Boss. Concentrate, just concentrate. It's not that hard, Skullin. Get all the big skulls. Okay, I threw myself into him. That's that could be considered a problem. Skullin, Skullin again. Don't throw yourself back in there, though. That's that was a bad move. Top 10 bad moves of uh, of the evening. For now. Oh, okay, okay. Let's laser him. Skull him. Alright. You cut chilies earlier and used some weird body wash and now your hand feels like it's on fire. You didn't read on the on the chili package. It said, "Do not use with body wash." Maybe on the body wash package it also said, "Don't use with chilies." Who knows? <laughs> I'm sorry. Lee Sixteen's been talking all day about how she's had muscle pain. We're all very very proud of her for uh, doing a 20 minute workout yesterday. Don't die. Don't laugh, it's really uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's funny, okay? Unlike unlike this. Just bomb him, bomb him. Alright, okay, okay, okay. Skull him, skull him, bomb him. You know what? That kind of worked out. 
Now that I realize that the enemies actually change uh, color when when their soul drain. What the hell just happened? Um, it makes it a lot harder because you have more things to keep track of. Ooh. Are there any? <clears throat> Are there any bullet hell masters in, in the chat? I'd be really interested in like what what is the the optimal technique for these games? Like do you have to get in the flow, you know, is there a state of flow that you're you're supposed to reach that if you don't do that you don't stand a chance? And you have a special diet that goes for it or you know what what's the what's what's the deal with all these bullet hell games? Are they trying to make me have a heart attack? Sorry, I my my Seinfeld impression really uh, needs a little bit of work. It used to be better than this, I promise. It was better than this when I used to watch uh, comedians in cars drinking something or other. Yo, we we're, we're on the mushrooms. We we got the magic magic mushrooms. I'm so excited. I didn't even uh, to continue. Oh my god, look at uh, the spores. They're shooting spores. Get the magic mush. The magic space mushroom. This is insane. This is a Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, if you touch them after they die, so you can't actually touch them. You can't, you can't touch them. You have, you have to dodge. Oh my god. It's the Beetle Lord. I, uh, oh, wow. All right, all right. Bomb him. Bomb him. Just to give us a chance. <gasps> I went too close. All right, shoot the bomb. Shoot the bomb. Think later. If we beat this... We've gone further into the galaxy than I've ever been before. Skullum? Skullum? Nobody told me that I'd also have... Okay, he's... Okay, well... <laughs> Alright. Good, good, uh, good game over. Good, you know what? That's, that's our high score. Garth. That's a high, high score. Round of applause, everybody. Round of applause for new high score. Three wills, three high scores. Everybody else sit down. Speaking of, I'm going to get up. And uh, that's going to be it for... Uh, for Space Moth. Tonight.